Hello again, everybody. This is Michael, KE4EST. And in one of the previous mailbags, I had showed you where I had bought one of these OLED displays. Well, I got a pack of them. Um, so what I've done with it, it makes a really pretty little display. It's small, but if you take this, and I've got it on a breadboard here. It's one of these little uh, humidity temperature sensors. And this one is the AM2302. And then I've got it paired with a uh, Arduino Uno, or a uh, Nano, not a Uno. And so if you take all this and put it in some little case, that would make a pretty good little project. Um, and let's see, let me find, if you look here, here's the one I got, you get five pieces uh, 128 by 32 Arduino Blue OLED for AVR, whatever. It's I squared C. It's 3.3 volt, and it is 5 volt tolerant. And I've got mine running off 5 volts. I think it's what I've got it plugged into there. So, um, what I did is thought I'd make a little, pretty neat little project with it. I was looking for something I could get for a little you know, uh, sit on my desk or something, or whatever. And so what I did was, you look here on the, I got the uh, U8 G2 library, and you can go, I'll put links in the description below. You can go to GitHub and get it. And then of course the uh, SPI library and the wire library all comes with. Now I'm using that for the uh, DHT and in the DHT library you can get that also um, from GitHub but I'll put links in the description uh, so you, if you don't have those already you can get those libraries and install them in your Arduino um, and then so you'll need all that then you got to find which pen you're using now this here it's got uh, there's four pins on it, one's no connection. There's one pin for power, one pin for ground, and the other pin's the uh, communication pin. And I'm using that on two here. And pretty much what it's doing is bit banging back and forth. I can send it a command down here, DHT dot read humidity, and it'll send me back a float value, uh, which is already calculating everything's done on the chip inside here so I can say you know what I want and uh, there's a couple other things you can get off of it too but all I've got it set up for now is that now all this mess here this is the uh, for the OLED when you get the uh, library in the example you've got all this and I pulled this over from that but I'm using this one right here the SSD 1306 which it is 1306 Univision. I got some of the other ones to work a little bit. And some not to work. You just have to experiment around. But I'm going to use it in 8x8 mode. And that way I can get... it's The, the print's small. I'm kind of hard to see maybe on camera here. But it's... Uh, if it's sitting on a desk or something, it's easy to glance over and read that uh, temperature and humidity. But uh, I've got that so I can get two lines of text on the, that little bitty tiny screen there um, so that's what I do on that this here you gotta set which type when you see I pulled these two from two different libraries I just got the example for the DHT and an example for the U8 G2 and I pulled out what I needed and brought them over here to this one and like all this a lot of this stuff I can get rid of um, and then in, uh, all I've declared is an F and an H which ain't very descriptive, is it? But uh, just throw that in there. Here, uh, I got to begin, you know, so I can start talking to the OLED. And then this here enables so it'll print in the 8x8 format. Then I got to begin so it'll start communicating with the little uh, temperature and humidity sensor. And then all I've got in a loop here is grab humidity, grab temperature, set the font and stuff I want, whatever. There's a lot of fonts. You know, it would take uh, an hour to explain all those and look at them all. There's a lot you can research and look at that you can use. 
and this set font direction I probably don't need either um, and I could probably take out that one too I probably put that in the setup and wouldn't really need the buffer anymore um, but it goes through and it just sets the cursor this sets it up too with this like you see here enable so you can use Arduino print also like the print command like you do for anything else so you can print text or you can print a uh, you know, variable whatever's in the variable here you can just type in 12 right there and it print 12 and figured out where I want them on the screen and I've got where it says temp and then it prints the temperature out whatever it is it grabs it from up here every time it goes around the loop and then I draw it a little small circle you can see might be kind of hard to see there but a little bit just you know of course you don't have to do that but just to show a degree symbol I tried to put a degree symbol in here or even tried to use the character code for it and it wouldn't print it either way so I just did a little small circle and uh, we well, can see it right here right 223 character 223 if you're using any other kind of display or if you're printing you know to the serial port it'll print a little degree symbol but it wouldn't work with this for some reason and then at first I had just print an F, you know, for Fahrenheit, because this is Fahrenheit. Um, there's another command you can just, you don't have to do the calculation, it's already done for you, you can send to it, and it'll calculate it, or it'll do the calculation for you in the library, that you can, uh, I think it's, if you do temperature false, but false right here, I think it'll give you Celsius, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, then he made the same way I had it, you know, I just got this, you could, change that to wherever you wanted and then it grabs the humidity and prints the humidity and then puts a percent symbol after it you can uh, see that there little percent symbol and then it gets all that and it dumps the buffer to the screen and then it waits right now at 1000 it needs to be more like 5000 or something give time for that to do it and you can see when I sent it to it here it's taking up pretty much every bit of the space on this nano and using all the variable space and it says low memory available stability problems may occur and that's true they may uh, and you know a lot of program stuff but this one I think you'll be okay on I've been running this for two or three days here not having any problems and with you know a situation like this I think this one will be fine but they're just warning you though you know depends on what you're doing but you can see this little small loop here not a whole lot going on um, but uh, and then of course you can run calculations to get the heat index or whatever and but I thought I'd just show that what I've done there it's a neat little project grab uh, you can grab these little OLEDs pretty cheap and these cost about as much as the OLED does but this is a real accurate temperature sensor with humidity and then of course you can grab these uh, nanos or nano clone like this one is pretty cheap and like right now you see I've got it plugged in it's still running off the USB port um, that's usually the way I do it and it's kind of ugly old wire and throw it around here or spaghetti mess here but that's why I'll get something going then I'll take it and put it on you know a regular board and solder it all up and put it in a little case or something but anyway um, that there's uh, what I did and if you have any questions or comments or anything just put them down below and if you uh, like this video hit that like button it helps out a lot and if you've not subscribed yet don't forget to go down there and hit subscribe and until next time this is michael ke4est 73 everybody